Flowing south from Salisbury through this John Constable landscape, the Avon has been divided into man-made channels to create yet more lush water meadows. It's a beautiful place to be on a summer's day, rich with wildlife, and walking here you have to remember that in the Middle Ages water was power, and so this fast-flowing river has been harnessed by man for centuries. And it's easy to forget that much of this lovely landscape isn't natural at all. Our ancestors certainly did well, for inadvertently perhaps they created some of the best fish habitat in Britain. So long as the river runs strongly, the clear, chalk-filtered water encourages aquatic plants to grow prolifically, and this provides a haven for that most loved of avon fish, the red-finned roach. It's a dynamic environment in which to live, demanding constant movement, and the biggest cost to an avon roach is the effort required to combat the current as they wait in the most advantageous place for food items to be carried down to them. Insects washed off the weed, caddis flies, or snails in the gravel. It appears to be a carefree life, but the gentle roach has many enemies, particularly one that has decimated their populations in recent years, the cormorant, a large seabird that has moved inland in alarming numbers to plunder our rivers and lakes. This roach shows stark evidence of a near-death experience, the cormorant's hooked beak ripping its scales and skin off as it wriggled free. With that injury, it's unlikely to be so lucky the next time. And their traditional enemy, predatory pike, are always on the lookout for an injured fish. Shoals of big roach like this have become increasingly rare, mainly due to cormorant attacks. And the many two-pound roach that the Hampshire Avon was once famous for are now rare. So, Martin's impossible target takes us from the sublime to the ridiculous. A three-pound roach. But a few do still survive. This beautiful creature weighs well over three pounds and has lived for 12 years or more. And because of all the problems our rivers have faced in the past 20 years or so, a roach this big is one of the rarest animals in Britain. Old roach like this are worldly wise, so if Martin is ever going to catch one and admire its beauty, he'll have to trick it into taking his bait. This will be a little easier when cold weather has reduced the weed and natural food is less plentiful. Martin's still got no chance of catching the impossible, but winter is the best time to try. Frost and sunny skies create the most difficult conditions for catching big roach, but sometimes it's just a treat to be down by the river.